This screencast is about economic profit and economic loss, PC style. When we're talking about economic profit, the original formula that we started with was total revenue minus total cost. Well, we don't have the total revenue and the total cost curves here, but we can still figure out economic profit by using the price or Mr. DARP, that demand curve, and also using the ATC curve. So the formula that you need to know for economic profit is price minus ATC times quantity. And when you think about how that relates to total revenue minus total cost, you can see here that total revenue is price times quantity, and total cost is quantity times ATC. So it's total revenue minus total cost, but using the curves that we have, that we have here. So in order to be able to look and see if a firm has economic profit or economic loss, you need to start with our profit maximizing output. So you go where MR equals MC and draw a line straight down, and that gives you the equilibrium quantity. And then you look to see where that quantity hits the ATC curve. And so in this instance here, our price is greater than ATC. And so when price is greater than ATC, that means that there's an economic profit. Per unit, it would be the distance between these two dots. When we're looking at total economic profit, you take price minus ATC and multiply it times the quantity. And so this whole rectangular area here is your total economic profit. Sometimes there's an economic loss. And when we're looking at that, we still use our economic profit formula of price minus ATC times quantity. But in this case here, at that equilibrium quantity where MR equals MC, and we draw that line down to the quantity here, what we see is that it never hits the ATC curve because the ATC is greater than the price. So at the, at the equilibrium output, ATC is greater than price. So the per unit economic loss is ATC minus the um, marginal revenue or the price. And then to figure out the total economic loss, you take ATC minus the price times the quantity. And so this will give you the total economic loss that this firm is incurring. So again, whenever you're calculating the economic profit or the economic loss, you're using this formula here of price minus ATC times quantity. And then you are multiplying um, this distance here by it in order to figure out the area or um, the rectangle that shows where this economic loss is. Okay, one other thing I thought we could do is do a little review of the different formulas of things that we need to know. So when we look here at the different formulas that we've been studying, our profit maximizing output is where marginal revenue equals marginal cost. Can you find that on the graph? Because this is where it's located. Allocative efficiency is price equals marginal cost. This is producing the right mix of goods. Where are we going to find that one on the graph? That happens to be at the same point. Remember, a perfectly competitive firm is always allocatively efficient. And then the last one is the productive efficiency. And this is producing goods as cheaply as possible. And the formula for that one is where marginal cost equals average total cost, that minimum ATC. Do you see where that one is on the graph? That one's right there. And so, um, again, practicing these different formulas, being able to find them on the graph, this will allow you then to be able to check your understanding of all of them.